Good morning, this is Keith Hall and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we will learn how to modify the unsubscribe URL within the Mailing Boss autoresponder in the Builder All platform. And the reason why you want to do this is because you want to be able to uh, have a more legible uh, unsubscribe URL at the bottom of your email. For instance, by default, this is what the unsubscribe URL looks like uh, in the emails. And so what we want to do is we want to have just like uh, like unsubscribe um, uh, a link within the email so they could just click on it. Right now, this uh, is not very legible or uh, to the average user, it doesn't mean so much about what this uh, link is. So let's see how we could change that in the Mailing Boss autoresponder. So um, first of all, if you're already a member of Builderall, then all you have to do is uh, 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 click on Apps up here, and then uh, go over to email marketing and select that or if you already know how to use the editor you could uh, just add this app to your dashboard and uh, click on it from there but I already have mine open and uh, the first step is to go to your email list so what I did was I created a workflow I clicked on workflow and it brings me to this screen here and click on workflows and it um, uh, shows the list of all the workflows that you created this is just one way to navigate to where I'm going to be showing you how to edit the email uh, I'm just going to select this workflow and if I scroll down I'm gonna uh, let's see I'm gonna go to this one click on edit and then click on edit, uh, uh, click on this link, uh, email information and filter tags. You want to go over down to the bottom right and click save and next. And it opens up your email editor with that particular email. Now, right now, I don't have much in this email other than um, uh, this text in the body. And this is where we're going to edit right now. So right now, if I leave it at is this, unsubscribe URL, this is the tag. What it's going to do is when it sends out the email, it will uh, replace this tag right here with what you see here. And we don't want that to appear. So what uh, you want to do is you just want to click on this. You can highlight it. And then you want to be able to uh, cut that out and then put in the text that you want to appear at the bottom of your email. In my case, I'm just going to uh, use the word unsubscribe. Just a second. Let's go back up here. And then you want to highlight this, the word or phrase you want to appear at the bottom of your email. And you want to attach a link to that. So you come over here, click on the link icon, come back here, paste this tag. This is a tag that's within your uh, uh, Mailing Boss autoresponder, and it just represents the link that will point to the unsubscribe page. So now click on the check mark there. Click on this check mark here. And now let's scroll down. Let's click on save and next. Save and next. And now what we want to do is we want to just test it out. So what you want to do is you, you click on here and then you put in your email that you want to send the test email to. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, fill this in, and click Send Test. Okay, I went ahead and clicked on that. So let's go to my email program to see how it appears in my email. So here I am in my email program. And as you can see, this is the email that was sent. And now we have this beautiful unsubscribe link for the user to see instead of that long URL that most people would not understand what that meant. So hopefully this tutorial gave you another tip on how to edit your emails and modify the unsubscribe URL within the mailing boss uh, autoresponder within the builder all platform also uh, please consider subscribing to my youtube channel and also click on the bell notification and always remember to like share and comment i appreciate your support and i look forward to seeing you on the next video and also if you're not already a member of the builder all platform Go to the link in my uh, description, and that will help you. Uh, if you click on that link, it'll take you to a page that lets you uh, know more about Build All and its amazing tools. Thank you again. Bye now.